we got a problem with the Great Salt Lake. In order to get a substantive bill done, I had to identify a member. And when I'm in the minority, it's even more important. I had to identify a member of the majority in my committee and uh, we had to go work with them. And I'll give a vast majority of credit to my team, particularly my ledge team, um, to, to, to identifying who that would be, who'd be a good person. Well, there's an individual in California named Jared Huffman. Go ahead and take a look at his Twitter profile. He's a very liberal, very progressive member of Congress, um, very outspoken. I mean, I disagree on a lot, particularly energy policy. I've created a, f a, a, a friendship with him. And why did I do that? Because I grew up watching Senator Orrin Hatch do so much good for Utah, so much good with the concept of civility, but willing to disagree and stand up for your principles in mind. That to me is a microcosm of how, how you know I went to the giant in the city and to see the relationship that he had built with Ted Kennedy was, was tumultuous. They argued a lot, but they had a general respect for each other. And ultimately they were each able to represent their constituents. And, 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 and in Senator, the late Senator Orrin Hatch represented his constituents tremendously. And I think that was core to his entire function for being back there. As I've learned and dug into more of his, of his time and as I've learned, met, met more of his family and know more about him, like he, he wanted that civility, but that productivity as well. And so uh, this individual, Rep Huffman, has a dry lake or a saline lake, a, a terminal lake, if you will, in his district. It's a part of a great basin network of, of several lakes. And we put together the, a bill, the Saline Lakes Ecosystems Act, that's going to put a USGS, US Geological Survey, uh, putting together some data for our state legislators and our governor to use on coming up with some good mitigation efforts. Uh, that's the role we could play at the federal government. The work that's being done locally is by far the most important. And I've loved seeing them, them come together and, and find real options and real solutions. And, and they're doing that. Uh, amidst criticism constantly of not f solving it fast enough, but they're working towards the right goal. And we were able to lean in and do something, but I, I have to develop relationships with those indiv with, with individuals that I disagree with, because there are going to be opportunities like this where we can come together. And um, I look about look at that, and that's one of that's one of the neatest things that I was able to accomplish in my first term, was to 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 to, to get above the politics of it, and. Um, I, I, I get asked, you know, what's your big surprise? And I have several, but one of them is how much of the work that gets done back there is based on personal interpersonal relationships. And that was a direct response. I walked up to him. I said, look, August work period, the district work period is coming up. We're not going to get many things more on the floor. This bill has been sitting in our, in your guys's queue. Jared, can you do anything? And two days later, he called me and said, I've got it in the bill. We're going to get it passed. Um, I ultimately voted against the larger package, but that provision got passed and the bill got passed. And, um, and that was all just because of a personal relationship.